This is my first vlog, so be kind. This is the story of how I got to be an extra in the last Robert Redford film, The Old Man and the Gun, that was shot here in the Cincinnati Dayton area in uh, 2017. Cincinnati has been the scene for uh, quite a few movies, most notably Rain Man. Uh, there was Milk Money with uh, Melanie Griffith. There was The Ides of March with George Clooney. And it was that movie that a few friends of mine were able to get cast as extras in. When I became unencumbered of a daily job, and I'd always been interested in doing this, I asked a couple of them, how did you get that role? How did you get to be an extra? Well, you have to watch this woman's Facebook post. She's a casting agent. She'll post when they're looking for extras. And I did. I was watching her Facebook post. Not only was there a Facebook post, there was a newspaper article talking about this big casting call they were going to have for the Robert Redford movie. So I read that and showed up two hours early at Xavier University at a big auditorium. Even two hours early, there were 20 other people in line when I got there. By the time they'd let us into the auditorium, the line was out the door. There were a few hundred people who had showed up for this casting call. And because the movie was set in the late 70s, early 80s, they asked us to come dressed like we were in the late 70s, early 80s. I didn't have anything appropriate for that, but I found a shirt that was kind of, it, it might have fit. After a while, the assistant director came out, told us what was going to happen, made us fill out some forms, and then they guided us into another room where they took our picture, took some measurements, and then there was a table of two or three other assistant directors. We look at the sizes, look at the info, look up at you for about five seconds and say, okay. Then we were on our way. Don't call us, we'll call you. Didn't have any inclination of what was going to happen next. But a few weeks later, I got a phone call asking if I was interested. I said, yes, I am. And then they sent us an email um, about the day of the shoot. It was going to be in Dayton. I was going to be a bank patron in this scene that was set in St. Louis, but it was really Dayton. And the email also included pictures of men's clothing, pictures of women's clothing of that era, hairstyles and all that stuff. I went to a thrift shop and bought a coat and some pants that I thought might fit. The day of the shoot comes and it's really drizzling outside. It's early in the morning, about five o'clock. Drive to Dayton, park at the assigned area where there's trailers and dressing trailer, dressing room trailers. and They finally tell us that we're going to drive again, follow this bus. He's going to go down to a parking garage in downtown Dayton, park your car there, get out and walk across the street. There's an extras holding area that you're going to be in. So when we got to the extras holding area, there's assistant directors, there's wardrobe people, there's extras, extra wranglers, they called them. They didn't like any of the clothing that I had. They, well, it was the only thing I kept were my underwear and my socks, but they gave me uh, slacks, they gave me a suit coat and a tie and a briefcase that I was to carry through all of these scenes that we were shooting. They had a little breakfast set up for us and then they brought us all outside. They paired us up into twos and singles and all we were supposed to do was walk down the street, stop, turn around and walk back so that it would look like a crowd was there. The camera was on the parking garage across the street up on top. Redford was there and they were shooting him and they were shooting down at this crowd scene. While the street was blocked off to traffic, 
it was not blocked off to onlookers. So if there were onlookers in the parking garage, there were onlookers at the end of the half block that we were walking toward. We did that a couple of times. We did some other scenes where we were talking on the street, we were coming out of the bank, and then we broke for lunch. The next scene, they put us outside this bank, which was an old vintage bank, downtown Dayton. It's gorgeous, beautiful on the inside with marble floors and all of that. Okay, you go in the revolving door, and when you get in, you go that way. And you, when you get in the revolving door, you go that way. And they just had us going back and forth like that, about five or six people on each line. The cue is background action, they call that, and we start walking, and this guy goes in through the revolving door, and I go in through the revolving door, and go out, and all of these cameras and lights and people are there, and it's like, oh my God. Didn't expect that, because I had not seen any of the equipment yet. So I walk in the bank, step over a cable that's on the floor, and keep going and the rest of them do their thing. After that, we filmed some coming out of the bank uh, with our backs to the camera and a couple of other scenes. We did some scenes outside with uh, the actors in cars going down the street, casing the bank for the robbery. And then that was it. After about 12 hours, we're done. We get dressed in our street clothes and go home. That was in April of 2017. The film came out in October of 2018. So it was showing the first week at a little theater in Cincinnati. My wife and I get in the car. We're going to go to, to see the film for the first time. She says, by the way, if you don't show up in this thing, you're going to be okay, right? Well, yeah, I mean, it was fun to do. I don't mind. It was, you know, it was a blast. We sit in the theater. The film starts, and we're involved in the story. And about half an hour in, Robert Redford, close up, they pull back through the windows of the bank, and they pan down to the revolving door. One guy walks in, goes that way, and then here I come, walking in right across the screen. My wife goes, oh my God, that's you. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, it was, a, it was a really fun experience. And not only that, but you got to remember, this is Robert Redford's last film. So it's pretty special. And, you know, there's a, there's a little bit of immortality that goes through this as well because it's film and it's going to be part of Hollywood history. So I was real happy that I got to do that. I was really, really happy that I got to show up on screen, even for five seconds. I mean, that was a blast. These are stories that I've been wanting to tell for a while, and I will make this a series. If you like what you've seen so far, click subscribe click the notification bell. I hope you enjoy it. For now, that's a wrap.